In the previous video, we just created a category wise story list. So here category title, body, description, publish are the field in story. So go to storylist.html. Here is a for loop for grabbing the stories. Okay. So x dot title. This is for the story. This is this is for the story title. Okay, just save it and here add a h tag. So do some basic design. So add a class margin top. So type mt3. Okay. Now save it. Now run the local host. Okay, go to browser and type the local host. Okay, so go to admin. Go to stories. Here add a story at first. So I just select a category Raskin Bond and title of the story is this. Okay, I just copy it and paste here. And I just copy the story. Okay, so just copy this and paste here and write some description about the story. Okay, this is the story written by the Ruskin Bond. Okay, just save this. Oh, here is the title field and title is this. So, okay, just save this. So go to the browser and type the local host. Okay, you can see now the story name and the description of the story. Okay, here I am going to create a detail page of the story. Okay, when any user click on the story title, then he will go to the detail page of the story. So here add a anchor tag before the title. And I use the get absolute URL method. So type hyper reference is x dot get absolute url okay so now go to models.py and here define a get absolute url method in the model story so i just copy it and paste here and and change the name of url so name of url is story detail and pass the argument self dot id now go to urls dot py and create a path for the detail page type a path so here id always be an integer i create a i create path for the detail page by id so int id id is an integer and type the function name views dot story detail i will create it and name of the url is story detail okay so story detail is the name of the url so now go to views and define the function story detail story detail function takes two argument one is request and other is id so pass the two argument request and id and next create a variable story this story variable will store the particular story so get object or 404 and grab the story model and filter by the id and return render to the template story detail dot html so return render first argument is request and next is the template name story detail dot html ok story detail dot html is inside the story folder this is the story folder inside the templates and now pass the django variable story ok this is the django variable so now go to templates, go to story and create a story detail dot html page. Now extend the base dot html. I just copy it and 
paste here now in the body block now what is the name of the web page so name of the web page is story dot title and go to the body and here add a container class now add a h2 tag and inside the h2 tag write the title of the story story is the variable in django and then type title title is the field in story so inside the paragraph tag type the body of the story so you can add a class lead okay oh here end the block tag not body so end b l o c k block okay so now run the local host python manage.py run server so go to the browser and this is the self is giant and this is the description okay go to the detail page the self is giant here is an error this actually this is not an error the page not found the story uh, just check it slash and go to urls.py oh here here add a slash many time it may not work for this so just save it okay so go back refresh it and go to the self is giant okay it will work so you can now design it so go to story detail dot html here add a class text center for the center of text okay so go to base dot html here i want a dark navbar so just remove it and type d a r k dark remove the light and type d a r k dark so now save it okay so this is the story and this is the title of the story go to this story and this is the story name and this is the body of the story so select the category raskin bond select the category oscar wilde so go to the story the self is giant this is the body okay so thanks for watching and see you in next video